Now, in this video, we are going to take up one more problem. A point is lying on VP and 20 mm below HP and 30 mm behind or in front or from LPP. Draw its projections and name this side view. How to draw this uh, and solve the problem by using solid edge software? First, we will go for the solid edge software screen and you just click on right click, go to sheet setup and take it as A4. Select this show background, I don't want this background and say OK and then go to view and select fit. Now you just uh, go to uh, home, click on the text and you go to select the Times New Roman, select Times New Roman and take the font size as 4 and then you just click over here and you type the problem number 6. A point is lying on VP, VP 20 mm below HP and 30 mm in front or behind or from LPP then draw its projection and name the side view ok right click then you just go to select select this then go to properties then go to indent and spacing select double line single one and a half line side now once you do that, then you just come down to this and you write the third quadrant position. So to do that, so go to sketching, go to line and you take set the line as 0 0.05. And first initially you draw this horizontal line and make sure that end point intersection and only horizontal or vertical will going to be enabled. So this will be on internal sketch and if you, this is solid edge ST9 so it is directly going to have the display here but in uh, the solid edge version 19 you are not going to get it directly here you have to go to view and click on enter sketch and then you are going to get the option and in that you make sure that end point intersection and horizontal or vertical is enabled then again you just go to line and draw a vertical line then once you do that, then you just uh, mark HP, VP and LPP. So here, you just uh, go to home, click on sketch, annotation and you mark this as HP and you mark this as VP and you mark this as LPP. Then you just go to zoom area, then you just sketch, move it, move it and place it here and then go to VP and then go to LPP then you just go to view and fit it so here the next thing is you have to draw this offset by 30 go to sketching go to offset take the distance as 30 you select this and offset it then go to trim trim this line then you take 20 mm below then go to offset, take the distance as 20. You will select this and offset it here. Then go to trim corner between these two and then trim this line. Once you do that, then you draw a line at an angle of 45 degree. So then go to line and take the intersection because it is already in the sketch is enabled. And I will take 100 angle 135. Then go to split, split this line till here. And then spread this line till here and spread this line till here spread this line till here and spread this line till here then go to erase erase this line this and you reduce it once you do that then you just go to point now and type 2 mm and take end point of this and take end point of this and take end point of this then you just uh, Go to zoom area and bring it here. Then go to format, ISO, modify, go to texture, 
take take times new roman so here times new roman take the font size as 4 and then units round off to 1 then go to general everything you make it black then go to lines and coordinates make it the line width as 0.1 and say ok and apply then here you just go to dimension distance between these two it will be 30 and the distance between these two sorry distance between this and this will be going to be 20 then what I need to do is I want to type pp dash and pw dash then go to home click on sketch annotation here you mark this as small p and this as p dash and this as p double dash then go to sketching go to move here move p p dash and p double dash then go to angular between this line and this line you make it 45 degrees then go to home go to leader take center of end of this and here this will be lsv you type this sketching sorry home go to annotation and you type lsv okay then go to sketch and then go to move you select this and place it here now once you do that now go to view click on fit now so here you just go to home click on this and click on this now and you make this line 0.13 and the rest of the things is over so this is how you will be able to write the solution by using the AutoCAD and uh, by using the solid edge and here you just go to home so here you type point capital P lies in third quadrant and here you mark capital X and capital Y capital X1 and this as capital Y1 then you just go to zoom area and uh, go to move move it accordingly x1 then y and then y1 so then go to view and click on fit now once you do that now we go for the next option go to sketch and go to line draw a horizontal line now of any distance now here since we have selected the line of uh, 2mm now so you just go to 0.05 and then you just pick over this and change this then you take this down sorry then go to line take uh, this vertical line and then you come down to this and solve this particular problem vp hp and lpp now so go to home click on annotation and here you type vp and then hp in bracket then LPP in here then go to zoom area then go to sketch and click on move and here VP and here HP and then here LPP then go to say, take the same sketch then go to offset take the distance as 30 you select this and offset then go to trim then go to offset take the distance as 20 you select this and uh, offset it here then go to trim corner between these two and then trim this here then go to line and take intersection part of this and take 50 less than minus 135 then go to angle between sorry then here once you do that then go to split split this line somewhere here Then go to select between this you delete this and you delete this and delete this now you just go to move move sorry move this line till 
uh, this text here then go to angle between this line and this line you take it 45 degrees and then go to home click on sketch so you mark this as x1 you mark this as x you mark this as y you mark this as y1 and here this point is small p p dash and p double dash then go to sketch go to point and take it as 2 mm and take end of this and end of this and end of this then go to move move this here then move this here then move this here then p dash then p double dash then y1 here okay then i need to go to view fit it hmm? then i need to show the arrowheads we will see, see that before that we will go to sketching take this dimension and uh, it will be uh, sorry 20 and distance between this line and this line you will want to get 30 then go to move select this and take it here and once you do that now we go for the home and click on leader and take this center and this is RSV now so here go to annotation and you type RSV so here go to sketching go to move and take it out here and place it so now this is how you will be able to draw this now you just go to annotate a uh, point on element and go to leader so here you just take it out and you just take it out and from here you project it like this so you will go to get this drawing here and similarly on this side also you take it project from p to the origin and you project from p dash to the x1 y1 line and you project from here so you just go to sketch and move it outside a bit so go to home and click on leader and you take this here sorry go to leader go to leader and you select this and you take it okay so this is how you will be able to solve this problem and now here go to annotation and you type point capital P P lies in fourth quarter so once you go to this go to view you and then fit it so this is how you will be able to solve this particular problem by using the solid edge software so this is your final solution draw its projections and in the side view if you want you just go to sketch and go to move and select this entire thing and move it here and if you want to place it appropriately you can arrange it so this is the final solution thank you